Hey folks, Andrew Packer here. Welcome to Trading Tips. Today we're going to look at some more unusual chart patterns, and these are ones that I usually tend to find more for day trading with individual stocks, or you'll often see them make uh, moves with currencies, or if you're just kind of making those more kind of obscure trades rather than some of the bigger and broader chart moves uh, that a lot of other folks look at. So let's start with a unusual pattern that's going to look a little weird when you first look at it, but once you start seeing it and once you realize how all the parts work together, it's going to be very difficult to, to not see it pop up uh, in day-to-day -day trades like when a company reports an earnings beat or when they make some other announcement that's initially bullish. So this is kind of what it looks like. Now, it looks a little weird, so we're going to break this down into a, into a few points because this is called an A, B, C, D pattern. It sounds a lot more simple once we've broken it down into its constituent parts. So here's what's happening, right? We get the initial news and we get the initial rally. And then we start getting some profit taking, which takes us from this A to B. Then we have uh, a part where things sort of bounce around for a little bit, and that's the C section, before we finally break higher at point D. So what's happening is you get the initial traders who can get in immediately and quickly, and you know that's usually not us, but they establish an immediate short-term peak. And at that point, you're going to start seeing a pullback, and then you're going to see a resistance line, which is higher than where things initially started. So when you start seeing what looks like one of these patterns, you want to start buying in around the B to C area because eventually you're likely most of the time to head higher and break through the resistance pattern even further. Usually when I see this in a stock, you'll have some news before the market open. So at 9.30, you'll get this initial pop. And then around 10 a.m. or so, you'll start to see things kind of start to give back some of the gains, but not entirely. And then throughout the rest of the day, it'll kind of trade in a bit of a range before eventually heading higher, usually in the last hour or two of trading. So once you see a chart like this, this is a pretty classic uh, setup, and it's a great way to make money. A lot of folks might think, hey, it had this big run, and then it pulled back. I'm out of luck here, but you really aren't because with the ABCD pattern, you realize you know it had the pullback, it set a new resistance level pretty quickly, and then it's already starting to bounce around in here. So anywhere that you buy in here, you're very likely to make a profit, uh, kind of you know as we go from the C to the D part of the ABCD chart. So that's a very simple chart. It shows up a lot. It can even be uh, shorter term. It can be a matter of minutes in the currency market, for example. But once you start seeing it. And you know, once you kind of realize there are just these four basic parts to it, it's going to be very difficult to not see it. So a, another unusual pattern that is similar but also different looks a little bit like this. And this is called a cup and handle. It doesn't have like the ABCD line or anything like that, but it does make this sort of shape uh, a lot like you would necessarily see in, um, you know, if you were just holding a cup out. And sometimes it might look the other way. It doesn't necessarily matter. What, what does matter is you kind of have a similar trend here where you have the initial rally, you have a bit of a pullback, and it's not necessarily going to be as sharp as the ABCD pattern. It's going to be a little more gentle as you know, folks who want to take profits off the initial move do so. But you have a lot of uh, other traders who are thinking, you know, there's still some more upside here. So you're not going to get as strong of a sell off. And you're going to eventually see it just gradually start to trend higher once people realize hey, this position is not going to necessarily sell off as much. But usually once you get kind of back to this initial peak point, things might start flatlining for a while right at that resistance line. And that's also pretty normal. But again, like the ABCD pattern, it's you know, typically likely to, to head higher over time. But instead of kind of having the C pattern here where things just sort of bounce around a bit, uh, it's, it's a lot more flatline. And that's usually a very good signal that you're going to want to get in because whatever trend was going on before this formation started, you're going to get another killer rally out of that. So that's when you want to start placing your bets. And as with the ABCD, this can happen over the course of a day. This can happen over the course of a few minutes. Uh, you know, if you're doing a Forex market yeah, type trade, you know, this is, you know, minute type trade there. Finally, we're going to come to what is called a flag pattern. These can be bullish or bearish. Uh, but we just had one going into the end of 2018 with the broad stock market where we had uh, the markets were rallying going into about September. Then they started selling off a bit. Then they sort of range traded for a bit. And then they had sort of another sell off. You know, very unusual look that's a little different than some of the other uh, reversal trends that we've seen before. So if we were essentially drawing a flag here, what we would see would be sort of a flagpole 
and this would be this is our range box and then we see it make a down move. And so these, these flag patterns can also indicate that some, some big moves are in store. And as with you know, some of the other patterns that we've seen in the market, you, know, you get this period where you've had enough of a sell off that people start getting back in, traders get a little more ambitious, but not as high as they used to be. And as long as you continue to have this resistance, uh, the market essentially coils up like a spring. It doesn't matter if it's the broad market, it doesn't matter if it's an individual stock or a currency, you know, eventually it's going to make a much more powerful move. So we saw that in the final weeks of 2018. And you know, the flag patterns can go the other way as well. Uh, you know, we've seen a little bit of a bounce off of that since then, for example. But you know, this is another pattern to look for that can be a continuation pattern, it can be a reversal pattern. But you know, kind of once you kind of see this flag in this narrow trading range, you know, your best bet is to either you know, expect the continuation or you know, if this is something you want to be long, you just you know, wait you know, for a better entry price because this is telling you it's setting up to kind of make a big move and it's very likely going to continue whatever move it was starting to when it fell into the flag formation. So that will wrap things up for some of the more unusual patterns that you're likely to see, especially if you are a day trader and you're looking to trade short term events. You know, these are some uh, very often reoccurring graphs that show up just all the time in trading. And now that you've kind of seen what they look like and we've looked at, you know, the breakdown and, and how they look, uh, you should be able to just start seeing them easily and also finding entry points and profit points to trade off of them. So that'll wrap things up for this edition of Trading Tips. Until next time, I'm Andrew Packer, wishing you good trading and good financial health.